channel so today's video is going to be a girl talk so i asked you guys on my instagram a couple months back to give me some topics for a girl talk and you guys actually gave me a lot and so we're gonna be doing a part series so this is going to be part one of the girl talk and i'm just going to be delving into the topics that you guys you guys gave me to talk about and just you know giving some pointers how i feel about the topic and if you guys have any like extra things you thought i missed out on the topic make sure to comment them down below so we can all all of us girlies can benefit and you know learn and be better for this new year okay So the first topic that we're going to be talking about is staying feminine in a world that wants women to be masculine. So when I had saw this topic, I the person who know know said it said it as like that is so that just sound like her like that's such a her topic, and like I think it's a very important topic that doesn't really get talked about a lot. But I'm gonna talk about it. So here I just have like my little book and I have like little points under each topic and i'm going to like set a point and kind of delve into it so being feminine in a world that wants women to be masculine so the first thing i want to touch on is femininity femininity, femininity yeah. so femininity feminine femininity hmm, is not just wearing dresses you know doing your nails all of that obviously you know being feminine a part of it has to do with doing your hair and you know wearing good clothes and their face and blah 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 but that's not all that it is there's more to femininity than just that it's femininity has to do with the whole essence of being feminine and the whole essence of being a woman so choosing to walk in that femininity so not just like outward appearances but inward things like um you know women are nurturing women are kind women are brave women are courageous so being feminine is not just about like doing your hair and doing your nails and da 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 because i think a lot of people are like oh i'm so feminine just because like they you know dollop themselves but that's not all that there is to being a feminine person so i have chosen to remain feminine because for the longest while that's what i thought what being feminine was just about the old appearances and then i kind of like took a look at my life and realized that i was not feminine at all like a girl was very very much aggressive very very much doing the most and whatever you guys see a glare on my camera is because my phone broke so the camera broke so if you guys see that please ignore that okay but yeah so for the longest time that's what i thought femininity was but that's not all that it is it also has to do with how you are as a person and taking a look at that i look at my life and i realized that i was not walking in my femininity i was not being very feminine at all and i made a choice to be feminine so basically what i wanted to really touch on is that in this world it's like really encouraged for women to take on you know a different role to be more aggressive to you know be go-getters and there's nothing wrong with being a go-getter don't get me wrong but to kind of like be the man and da, da 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 and i have chosen not to i feel like you know we don't have to i feel like women can be women and still be enough like we don't have to be men to achieve or we don't have to be men to be great i feel like being a woman and being a feminine is something that is a good thing and i think it's something that we should be proud of as women and as girls and we don't have to try to be masculine and we don't have to try to be like you know men and men we don't have to do all that i feel like us just being feminine us just being soft us just being gentle nurturing you know courageous brave is enough and it is good enough and we just us being ourselves and us walking in our feminine light is enough so not taking part in everything that the world encourages so every single trend is you know the world is always changing the world's world is always fast paced everything is always um you know coming and going and i feel like you don't have to take part in everything every single trend that comes about every single ideology that comes about you don't have to take part in part in it you just have to be yourself and know who you are so basically just to sum that all up be who you are walk in your feminine light whatever that looks like for you because 
femininity will look different for everybody whatever that looks like for you walk in that stop trying to be something that you're not stop trying to be somebody that you're not be yourself walk in that and i promise you will live such a fuller happier life so the next topic kind of ties in with the first one and it is biblical beauty so women a lot of girls struggle a lot with image and beauty so did i you know in a world where we are seeing what's the beauty standard this is the beauty standard this type of weight this type of hair this type of skin color this type of this this type of that and because everybody in the world is unique not everybody's gonna be that standard and so it's really hard to like see yourself and see what the world portrays as beautiful and then to look at yourself and see that you're not that it can be really hard but what i have learned is that we should not let the world define our beauty but we should let god define our beauty so not as just girlies but as christian girlies we should be letting god define our beauty our beauty comes from god he says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made so like if god says that if the creator says that I mean, who cares what anybody else thinks? Like, you're not the creator. You're not the almighty. I don't care. But yeah, just let God define your beauty. Let your beauty come from God. And you will know that no matter what the world says. Because, I mean, in the 2010s, skinny was the beauty standard. Then it was thick. Then it's back to skinny. Like, it's always changing. And you, if you follow it, you're never going to be so beautiful. Just like, let God define your beauty. And the next point I want to say is be beautiful on the inside and not so much focusing on the outside. So the Bible tells us that true beauty, especially feminine beauty, comes from the inside, your personality, your foods. That's what real beauty is. And I feel like we should be focusing on being kind, being nurturing, being sweet, being gentle. That is the beauty and that will radiate through. So it's not so much how you look on the outside because we know that God doesn't really look on the outside. It's more on the inside. So focusing on what type of person we are who are we in our day-to-day -day lives if we were to ask people who have to be in contact with us every day what do they think of us are they going to say something nice are they going to say that um ashley is a nice person she's kind she's sweet she's and she's caring or are they going to say she's miserable she love gossip more people she ever have something bad to say you know that's the type of beauty we're looking at okay so the next topic or thing that i got was thoughts on waiting until marriage guys i'm gonna tell you my personal thoughts okay so personally personally i feel like we should be waiting and there is like a biblical significance as to why i say that why i say that comes from my christian background so that's just me if you guys want me to like go deeper into that that's a whole other conversation personally i say wait Oh, with me saying that i know a lot of people will hear that and be like oh but what if i didn't wait or you know what if i'm starting my christian journey and i did not wait i had sex before marriage and i want to start now but everybody's making me feel like say it's too late it's not too late to start over there is grace for that jesus died for that so we make mistakes we sin we do things that are contrary to the will of god but there is grace for that so even if you fell short or if you did not wait don't beat yourself up for it don't condemn yourself to hell like there is grace for that you can start over you can be forgiven and you can get on the right track no matter how much times you fall just make sure you get back up and continue leaning and trusting on god because there is grace for that say hashtag there is grace for that for my non-christian girlies because i know that there's gonna be girls who are watching this who are christian and who don't want to wait what i would say is make sure you guys are protecting yourself so this is a girl talk and i feel like we're all mature i don't know of age i don't know i feel like if you're if you're like under the age of okay personally if you're under the age of 18 under 16 is insane like under 16 i feel like that should be a crime and it is a crime so because in jamaica age of consent you see right so like for all of my over 16 preferably over 18 girls but whatever there's no judgment here i feel like we should be protecting ourselves so you know use proper protection never be afraid to use protection like if the boy say don't want to use protection next protect yourself get yourself tested do the right thing be safe about it be healthy about it there's no shame in being safe because at the end of the day if something go wrong are you and are you off good with it so just be safe protect yourself so that's that's what i have to say on that topic 
My book is so cute. Okay. Number four, fourth topic. Not settling on what we deserve. So first of all, I want to say period. So the first thing I want to talk about under this topic is self-love and importance. Guys, 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 it is not selfish to love yourself. If you do not love yourself, you are not going to know what you deserve. You're going to take any and anything from anybody. You're not going to know what true love is. And therefore, you're just not going to take any type of treatment. And it's 2024. Time for to leave them body alone. Say, know your worth. From your love yourself, you're going to know your worth. If you don't love yourself, you are not going to know your self worth, and any and any treatment will just be okay to you. So, being firm on your standards and not compromising. So, you need to have standards, you need to know your standards and not compromise on them. So, a big thing for me, which is like standard period, is if I'm entering into a relationship, the guy have to ask me to be his girlfriend. And I mean, take me out on a date with flowers and ask me properly. I don't mean over the phone. I don't mean I must assume say I'm a girl. I don't mean any of that. So I don't care if you go away one year, if you go away whatever you have. I'm not in no relationship until I am asked on a proper date that the boy planned with flowers or a love letter or a teddy bear or something. And that's standard. And until you do that, we're just friends. And I'm, I never will compromise on that. That is standard. And I feel like whatever that looks like for you, know your standards, be firm, don't compromise them. I think we're just caught up in this, oh, mom, be in love, mom, somebody, oh, mom, somebody, kiss me, that we are so desperate for that physical attraction that we will just take any or anything. And that is insane, guys. Like, ever, like, just love yourself, guys. Love yourself. Know your worth. Keep your standards and the right person will come, okay? Because if you have your standards and you know your worth and somebody's going to come and not treat you like that, not treat you like how you're supposed to be treated, that's the biggest sign to you that that's not the person for you and just go away. You're saving yourself a heartbreak because nobody who actually is interested in you and actually wants to get to know you and wants to, you know, develop something like something, something like a spooky, they're going to put in effort, they're going to try and if they're not willing to try, them do like you. And why you gonna do with somebody who don't like you, people? Why you gonna do that to yourself? You gonna do with somebody who don't like you? That makes sense? Exactly. So just say goodbye. Know your standards. Know your worth. Do not settle. It's 2024. Like, I... Guys, I have too much horror stories. My personal horror stories and horror stories that I've heard from people. Where it's like, because we are so desperate for this little physical touch. That or this little heart and money send yourself out girl send yourself a heart like it's not in not good okay guys stop feeding into this delusion that you're going to die if you don't have a boyfriend you are not going to dead you're going to be alive trust me you're going to be alive and it's, it's less stressful anyway that's not like it but yeah going into that i have another question that i can think kind of ties into the other one which is importance of having standards so I've, i'm kind of going to repeat myself here but i feel like this should be reiterated right so it shows that you have no self-love if you do not have standards it shows that you don't love yourself and guys i always say this men know who to take for idiot if them sis that want to do love on self them are gonna know say I'm not going to take any any treatments and I'm not going to get any any treatments and I'm not saying that to something so I'm going to continue to do the foolishness and I'm going to go and I just say boy boy we can but boy love me and blah 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 and just this cycle of stupid and idiocy in my ears and I don't like it guys nothing gets me more upset than seeing beautiful strong caring intelligent women in this relationship with these idiot men who treat them like foolishness and then they sit down I go on like idiots and I'm it like I don't talk to yam I only eat yam I don't speak to yams okay so as I said you get accept you accept anything and you get treated anyhow and also having standards save you from unnecessary heartache so when you know what you want it will save you from unnecessary heartache okay so you don't want an actual guy you want a guy who's going to express his emotions so guys if an actual guy talk to you Express yourself, say you're not interested in that. If he's not willing to change, goodbye. No matter the sense you sit down in a relationship with a man and him nonchalant and don't show emotion, and then you are gonna get up on a ball every night, say hey, you don't know if him like. Like, just don't accept it from the beginning. Just have standards from the beginning and be firm on those standards from the beginning. Period.
it's that it's that easy guys like it's more easier said than done i know but just practicing self love telling yourself what you deserve you are amazing you are smart you are beautiful like anybody would be so amazingly lucky to have you and so them i forgot you to like it them i forgot you to like it and if they're not you to like it somebody else will topic what type of guys to avoid guys i get this question like a lot not just in this just general people are always asking me what type of guys to avoid i don't know why i feel like to ask me guys but i know i don't like man i always say it so i've heard and i've come up with a pretty good list that i feel like we should all stick to like period everybody i feel like all girls should stick to this list so number one and this is specifically for my christian girlies non men of god so if it's not a man of god we don't want him no unequally yoke no 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 if it's not a man of god what hey what i don't i can't even hear you i just like i have selective hearing if it's not a man of god i can't hear what he's saying immediately i just can't hear guys like what huh man of god we are not even looking at them period but that's just what my christian girl is now for everybody period guys whose values and morals don't line up with yours so you need to know your values and you need to know your morals and you need to know stuff that you will take and stuff that you absolutely will not take and will not compromise on once you know that please do not go and date a guy who is the complete opposite of that because that relationship is not going to work after the honeymoon phase and oh babe good night if you guys are like completely different morals completely different everything you believe that people for beard and you believe that people brush them teeth and you must say people not for beard and you must say people not for brush them teeth what kind of relationship that one person are clean one person are dirty every minute go around and like i'm not because of the stink i just so you know if you don't have the same morals you don't have the same values you guys don't believe in the same things you're gonna grow it's gonna grow resentment it's gonna grow annoyance you're not going to want to be in their presence and it's just unnecessary heartache unnecessary stress do not talk to guys whose morals and values don't line up with yours because one thing i always say a person's values and a person's morals says a lot about the type of person that they are so people would not like beard i'm not that's not the only value guys i'm talking about values like love values like loyalty stuff like that that says a lot about the type of person that you are and if i even want to like be in any type of relationship like friendship communication anything nonchalant men you guys know me this i have a special dislike for that sort of men i don't like it i think it's childish i think you're too grown to be not able to express your emotions so guys yeah, stay away from those type of men it's not worth it i know it seems like you know aesthetic or that's not even aesthetic but like you know bad man then yeah it's not because if not you're not gonna show you no emotion and me, me love the emotion, me love the art, me love the cute things. I'm not saying I'm love it too. So just stay away from them. I'm telling you guys, just don't, just don't even, it's not worth it. Disrespectful men. Guys, I hate this trend that was going around on TikTok talking about when he's disrespectful to everybody but me. That's disgusting because why this disrespect period is not a good thing it says a lot about you as a person going back to values and morals. It says a lot about you as a person you see somebody on the road you see a girl on the road or whatever you're not open the door for the girl you can't help her like you're just disrespectful you're just mean you just don't talk to nobody you treat everybody like crap you soon start treating me like crap too me go say something wrong and you stop you, you soon start treating me like crap too it's not guys don't do it especially when they're disrespectful to their mothers to their grandmothers to other women in life it shows how they see you okay don't oh i'm different oh he sees me as no he doesn't he doesn't stop romanticizing and fantasizing over these disrespectful men who are mean and just treat everybody like crap they're not good people not good people to be around they need therapy and they need help no ambition when i say no ambition guys i don't mean that him have to be a billionaire with three bmw and live in a mansion no ambition mean that you're not trying at all like say say you're not in university at least have a little job no little job no no you just sit on par roadside every day i dig out and make a sit down sit down in your yard every day i play a game 
every single day not actually trying to better yourself not trying to do anything look at like work look at like a skill nothing nothing that's not good that's not good that is poverty calling your name don't do it what i'm not talking materialistic now that they have, they have to be this rich guy or whatever but like at least try to we can try together you know we can try together but you're not trying to tell them me you want to try you not try the student in your yard every day with your mother up until 30 with your mother same way not trying on that's not a good look guys you're so in a play with the mother too stress out and i i live a stressful unhappy life don't talk to them at all you know i have no ambition to sis and the last little thing that i'll give is not willing to put in effort this says a lot about how much the guy likes you so if a guy is not willing to put in effort, he's not willing to plan dates, he's not willing to text you first, he's not willing to call you, he's not willing to find out about things that you like, do small things that make you happy, and you want to put in effort, and you want to try, the guy don't like you. He don't like you. Guys, he probably all you here too. He don't like you, so just leave it alone. Just say okay. Don't even take it personally. Just say okay, that's fine. Dress back, take a step back, take two step back, three step back, and run. Don't even stay avoid those type of guys so that's why my little list it is very longer but i think very longer is kind of just me personally as i just you know but i feel like this is for everybody and my last topic that i'll be talking about today is what to look for in a man goes back to the previous thing so the opposite so if you're a christian look for a man of god everybody else look for guys whose morals and values line up with yours so let me give you an example of like something that's important to me i think hard work is very important i feel like putting my best not sharp cutting it not you know cheating so that that's very important that's one of my morals i don't cheat i think that i should do the work and do it good so i'm not going to talk to a guy who thinks that cheating and taking the easy route in life is gonna be the way because we are not going to get along so look for guys whose morals and values line up with yours and this comes by having conversations which i'm going to go into in part two when we talk about like dating tips so stay tuned for that non-natural men so men who are actually mature and know how to express their emotions in a healthy way like not take up him and i'm beat you not take up things and dash them on the ground and i slam down surfaces no people who know how to speak and express their emotions healthy that's the type of men we want respectful men men who are respectful to women and girls to men and boys respectful to the elderly respectful to children a respectful man period is the type of way that's the way to go that's the way to go respectful is the way to go ambition as i said we are not looking for bill gates or anything like that but somebody who is actually trying in life somebody who wants to make something of themselves and is going to try and not give up until they get there and somebody who's willing to try with you you know and everybody i could be a millionaire and everybody could be a billionaire but as long as you not try that's a good thing that's a good sign yeah and lastly somebody who is willing to put in effort because this shows that they actually care about you and want you to be happy Guys, that was part one of my little girl talk where I addressed some of the topics that you guys gave me on my Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on my Instagram, it's in my bio, so make sure to go and click it and follow it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little girl talk. I hope you could all, you know, come together. I hope you guys like what I said. If you never like it, tell me if you like it, tell me if you agree, tell me if you disagree, tell me. And if you have anything to add, tell me as well. Make sure to stay tuned for part two where I'm going to be delving into the other side of some of the topics that you guys gave me because I couldn't cover all of them. So I didn't forget you to send a topic and you never hear it. I didn't forget you. I'm going to cover it in part two. So stay tuned for part two, which is going to drop. <laughs> I can't tell you if I can't tell you, but just stay tuned for it. Okay, guys? So stay tuned for part two. And yeah, so in part two, let me give you guys a sneak peek of some of the stuff that are coming in part two. I'm going to be talking about dating tips. I'm going to be talking about self-care. I'm going to be talking about hygiene. I'm going to be talking about academics. 
all of that work so make sure to stay tuned for part two if you guys want to hear my thoughts and my little tips and talking points on those topics but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful i hope you know you're motivated you're inspired you are feeling a lot more loving of yourself and ready to go into 2024 being the amazing woman beautiful mwah, girls that you are so thank you guys for watching this video again make sure to like comment and subscribe follow me on my socials and stay beautiful